my name is Barbara Mandusic and uh, I am 34 years old and I live in uh, Dubrovnik in Croatia. Uh, after graduating from high school, I uh, studied geophysics or uh, more precisely meteorology and oceanography at the Faculty of Science in uh, Zagreb, capital of Croatia. After graduating from college, uh, I couldn't get a job in profession right away, so I uh, worked as secondary school physics teacher for eight years. And uh, for the last seven months, I have been working uh, in my profession as an aeronautical meteorological technician in uh, Croatian flight control. Croatian uh, Flight Control Meteorological Service, uh, where I work, uh, performs measurements and observations, then uh, the exchange, analysis, forecasting and distribution of meteorological data. My job uh, consists of, of observing the current state of the atmosphere at the Dubrovnik airport, measuring individual atmospheric parameters and uh, distributing uh, compiled reports in the form of international meteorological codes. Uh, we provide this information continuously every half hour to our users, which are uh, mainly airlines, pilots and uh, all airspace users. So uh, what is the relation of my job to STEM? Uh, meteorolo meteorology is often called physics of atmosphere, so uh, if we want to understand meteorolo meteorology, we need to know all about parameters by which we describe atmosphere. Also, uh, we need to know about their influence on weather. For this, it is necessary to know the basic laws of physics to which these quantities are subject. Uh, in addition to physics, knowledge of mathematics, IT, but also numerical methods is required. Well, uh, as a little girl, for me, it was always interesting to watch the clouds. They fascinated me and encouraged me to think about uh, how they are formed, what they are made of, why some are white and some are gray. Also, uh, the important role in forming my love for STEM was played by my father, who is an uh, amateur astronomer. Uh, for as long as I can remember, he has taught me about the universe and uh, always encouraged me to reflect on everything around us. Uh, actually, I, was, I always loved observing the weather phenomena around, around me, so uh, when I started learning physics, which fascinated me from the beginning, and uh, when I realized that uh, it was closely related to meteorology, my enthusiasm has no end and it uh, lasts in today. Uh, so I knew right away that uh, meteorology is something that uh, I want to study and to do in my life. When I start to work my shift, uh, I talk to a colleague who worked the shift before me about the weather conditions that have been going on the airport for the past few hours. After that, uh, I take a look at the weather forecast. So I, uh, I to know what kind of weather I can expect in the next uh, few hours. Uh, I continuously monitor cloud cover visibility and uh, weather phenomena if there are any. And uh, I actually work in uh, cooperation with an automatic meteorology station, uh, which uh, independently measures air temperature, air pressure, wind speed and direction, and uh, some other parameters. Uh, I distribute all measured and observed uh, elements to Croatian airspace users in the form of internal meteorological aeronautical codes. Uh, actually, these codes are sent for international exchange, so 
uh, anyone in the world can see uh, them at any time and can see actually what uh, weather is on our airport. Uh, it is important to emphasize that uh, I do all the work in uh, collaboration with Forecaster, who uh, complements these reports with his weather forecast for the airport and the uh, airspace, air, airspace around it. After uh, graduating from high school, my affinities for science generally strengthened which resulted uh, in enrollment in the Faculty of Science. After completing five years of study, I acquired the title of uh, Magister of Physics and Geophysics. And uh, if I could choose my schooling path again, I would uh, choose the same one. Uh, during my schooling, there weren't as many opportunities for self-learning as they are today, because uh, in that time we didn't have the internet and uh, the technology that we have now. So if we wanted uh, additional knowledge about something, uh, we would have to go to the library and uh, look for information by book. From uh, today's perspective, I would say that uh, my path was like this because the STEM field has always interested me a lot. So I always try to find uh, new ways of learning on my own, which uh, most of my peers did not. Uh, now at my work in Croatian Flight Control, we often also have workshops and trainings that uh, help us to be as good as possible in our work. And uh, most colleagues are happy to participate in them. I think uh, the most important skill needed uh, for my job is critical thinking, commitment and uh, personal responsibility. Critical thinking is important because uh, all meteorologists' parameters are dependent on each other and uh, it is necessary to constantly apply and think about these dependencies. For example, uh, if a sudden change of uh, weather occurs, we need to know how this change in a certain parameter will affect others. And uh, only in this way of thinking, we will successfully compile our report. Commitment and uh, personal responsibility are very important because uh, we, do, we do a job on uh, which all airspace users depend, and uh, that is a big number of people. So it is very important that uh, the weather data we report is accurate and uh, representative because uh, it is a prerequisite for flying safely. Well, uh, in addition to their profession, uh, meteorologists often work as programmers due to well-developed IT skills and some of them work as a physics teachers due to good basic knowledge of physical laws and processes. For me, the biggest challenge in my job is uh, to follow the trends brought by the fast technology development. As far as our uh, automatic stations uh, are concerned, they are constantly working on improving their software, which uh, for observers brings constant education about the news in the way of working with those stations. It is assumed that uh, one day those stations will completely replace the meteorological observers, but uh, today they are still not accurate enough for uh, independent work. Another challenge of uh, this job is that almost no weather situation is the same as the previous one, which uh, gives the job those of uh, dynamism and unpredictability.
while I was working as a teacher, my advice to students was uh, always to try to recognize their affinities and uh, fields of interest as earlier as earlier as they can. And uh, after they do, they should dedicate themselves as much as possible and uh, focus on those interests. Uh, the problem of today's education system is that uh, it does not encourage excellence in certain areas, such as STEM, but requires students to learn general knowledge in a wide area. This mainly leads to the fact that uh, students do not have time to dedicate to what uh, interests them and what they really are good at. Uh, as a result, only a small number of them, mostly the most persistent, manage to even find, find uh, those areas in which they are good at all. Just like the students, uh, often parents and teachers do not recognize the interests of their children or students. So I think it is very important that uh, they, once they recognize it, uh, direct children to those areas of learning that uh, interest the child and uh, for which child has affinities. They should also encourage and support child uh, at his choice of career path, which uh, parents often do not do because of some personal gain.